VLHC, which has just accomplished another major milestone, colliding beams of lead ions, that is, nuclei of lead atoms, at the highest energy ever in a particle collider. 574 tera electron volt, 100,000 times more than the temperature inside the center of the sun. At this very moment, the ALICE detector below my feet is recording these collisions. <laughs> yeah, this is really a, a magic moment for ALICE uh, and for the heavy ion community. Such high energy and extreme temperature enable physicists to observe inside the collider a new state of matter called quark-gluon plasma, similar to the one that has existed just microseconds after the Big Bang. Big Bang starts here, today we are here. Uh, what we want to study is this region, uh, the first time that the universe did not consist only out of elementary objects, but uh, when these elementary objects coalesced into combined objects, protons, uh, neutrons, and later on nuclei. And having this huge energy, uh, we should really go further away from this phase transition into this high temperature phase when the universe uh, had no uh, structure, had no uh, complex particles, only individual and elementary particles. This is LINAC3, the linear accelerator especially built at CERN to inject heavy ions into the CERN accelerator chain. It is right here at the beginning first and then at the end of this machine that lead atoms are stripped of their electrons before being transferred to the first circular accelerator on their path to the LHC. The first stripping is carried out here right at the source where the first 29 electrons are stripped thanks to a microwave plasma. 25 more electrons are stripped right here at the end of LINAC 3, where the ions go through a 300 nanometer thick carbon foil before entering the next machine on their path to the LHC. Right here, across that wall. This is LAIR, the low energy ion ring, a key player in the injector chain, as it provides very dense ion beams, as requested by the LHC. Once they leave LAIR, the ion packets enter the PS, the CERN oldest synchrotron, where they get further acceleration kicks. After the PS and on their way to the SPS, the super proton synchrotron, the lead ions get their third and last stripping, passing through a one millimeter thick aluminum foil. After this process, the beams of lead nuclei finally move on into the LHC, where they are circulated in the clockwise and anti-clockwise directions and made to collide at three interaction points of the LHC, where three experiments can make the most of these heavy ion collisions. ALICE at point two, ATLAS at point one, and CMS at point five. So we just started collecting data with heavy ion. CMS is working beautifully. We are collecting data with all the detectors, and uh, so this is the beginning of new era. We've been waiting for years for this, and it, it's very exciting that, that that this time has finally come that we get to look at the data. And the last two or three days have actually been the most exciting I've had in years. The events look. Uh, beautiful. There's more energy deposited in the detector than in any proton-proton collision. Yeah.